All right, we're at 16.5, the linear wave equation. And this one is math intensive. Uh, I'll probably stumble through it myself, uh, but uh, we'll get her done. All right, uh, we've got a element of a string under tension, T, um, and we can see that the, uh, the sum of the forces in the y direction are uh, T sine theta B, uh, that's the, you know, the vertical component, minus T sine theta A. Uh, that's the uh, tension component going down. So the sum of them is equal to T sine theta B minus sine theta A. Now, uh, for small angles, uh, sine uh, of theta is equal to tangent of theta. Now, earlier I had said that we, we used an approximation of sine theta equals theta. I should have mentioned that that was for radians. Um, it, uh, if, you, if you just do a spreadsheet and put uh, degrees and put radians, uh, well, that's a little difficult to do because you need a, a multiplier. But Anyway, that last one where I said sine theta equals theta, that's really for, for radians for small degrees. It works uh, uh, you know, for radians. Uh, and here, the, uh, again, the uh, um, uh, sine theta uh, equals is approximately tangent theta for, for small degrees. Uh, so we're using that approximation. Now, uh, the, if you m m move, uh, if you uh, imagine in undergoing an infinitesimal displacement, uh, you have uh, a little vector uh, that's dxi plus dy. And the, uh, uh, the tangent of that angle with respect to the x-axis for this displacement is dy dx. Now, since we're going to be doing a, a, a uh, derivative in res with respect to time, we use uh, partial derivatives. So the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to t uh, uh, partial uh, partial y partial x b minus uh, partial y partial x a. Uh, so the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration and mass times acceleration is the second derivative of position. So uh, mass is mu delta x, where mu is the uh, 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 mass density uh, per unit volume times the, I mean, not per unit volume, per uh, linear, uh, for, for, uh, per unit length times the length uh, times the uh, second derivative of uh, position. Now, uh, if let me uh, look at, I'm actually looking at the text. Um, the uh, if we combine uh, combine the equations, we get uh, if we combine this this uh, last equation with the one above it, we get that mu delta x uh, second derivative of y second partial derivative of y with respect to t that's equal to the tension times. Uh, partial of y with respect to x b minus partial of y with respect to x a. And that's uh, uh, if we uh, rearrange the equations, we get mu over t partial, uh, second partial of y with respect to t, um, that's equals to uh, partial of y with respect to x b minus partial of y with respect to x a over delta x. We just did some switching around. And this, uh, what do they say here? The right side of the equation can be expressed in a different form if we note that the partial derivative of any function is limited, is defined as the partial of s with respect to x is equal to this equation, limit of x approaches zero is uh, uh, f x delta x minus fx uh, divided by delta x. That's just the definition of the uh, derivative. Uh, this expression is the linear, uh, oh, uh, so now we uh, we do that uh, associating uh, 
fx plus delta x with dy dx and fx with uh, partial y, partial of x a, we see that in the limit, delta x equals uh, approaches zero. And the equation, the equation becomes this here at the bottom, mu uh, divided by t, partial, second partial of y with respect to t equals second partial of y with respect to x. Now this is the way it's normally written, partial of, the second partial of y with respect to x is equal to one over v squared, uh, second partial of uh, y with respect to t. That is the wave equation. Um, it's the linear wave equation and it applies to waves on a string. Um, so it applies in general to various types of traveling waves whose speed is v. Waves on a spring, y represents the vertical position of elements of the string. For sound waves propagating through a gas, y corresponds to the longitudinal position of elements in the gas from equilibrium. Uh, in the case of electromagnetic waves, y corresponds to electric or magnetic field components. So you're going to see this wave equation over. Um, so, uh, and that's it for this uh, math intensive section. Uh, let's. Uh, next, we'll go to 16.6 sound waves.